Good weekend to you. Welcome to Leading Edge. I'm Jerry Anderson. So last week, early in the morning, very early on the day that we celebrate as a nation our independence, Toledo police officer Anthony Dio was shot and killed while on duty by a drunk guy with a gun. Officer Jeff McClendon is a friend of Officer Dio, was a classmate, frankly, at the Toledo Police Academy, and then sadly this week was a pallbearer for his friend and fallen colleagues. So Officer McClendon, uh, thank you for joining us. I know that I and really a grateful community are so sorry for, so sorry for your loss. Um, I mean, this guy really made an impression, didn't he? I mean, at that Toledo Police Academy, which I know from everybody who's gone through it at times that the, the going really gets tough. But even there, you say he made a difference. Well, he really did. Um, Dia was always that guy that was uplifting. Um, he brought everyone, he always had a smile on his face. Um, every day he came in, he had a smile on his face, even when it got tough. And when uh, some of us thought about quitting, Dia was always there to kind of push us along. Um, it, was, it was good because Dia had been to the police academy prior to this police academy. So he kind of already knew the standards and what needed to be done. So when, you know, at times where it was rough or it was tough, you know, even the academics of it, uh, Dia was always there to like kind of guide us and push us through. So that was really cool. Dia was that loving guy that just really cared about everyone and wanted to see everyone be successful and make things through. We should point out Jeff McClendon, Officer Jeff McClendon, Toledo Police. We should point out here that you guys, you call him Dia. I'm guessing you got called McClendon. You guys correct. learned at the academy. That's what you call each other. It's just your correct, last name, correct. right? So correct. I want to be great. We want to be very clear, there's no, dis no disrespect. In our head. Yeah, definitely. So they kind of like ingrained in our head in the academy that call us by our last names. Uh, so we all call each other still to this day by our last names. Okay. And we try to, we even tried to start calling each other by our first names, but it's just so hard because for those seven months, you know, we called each other by our last names. So it just makes it so tough. Jeff McClendon, it was also a piece of happenstance, it seems, or maybe fate that Officer Dia even ended up at the Toledo Academy because he was actually on track, wasn't he, to join the Detroit police force? He was, actually. Uh, Dia went to the, Dia was telling us the story in the police academy, how he went to, uh, he joined the Detroit Police Department. He was in their academy for about two weeks. And then he was on his way driving to the academy. He, like, got into an accident. He said, you know, I don't really think I should be doing this, you know, driving back and forth every day. So then he joined the Toledo Police Department and got accepted and went through their academy. And he told me that that academy is pretty rough. So he said, you think this one is rough? You should have been to the Detroit one. It was even worse. So. Then you get through the academy. That's a long stretch in and of itself. Then you go out for your field training. You're assigned to an officer. Then you get your assignments. You guys go out on the streets. And then based on, I don't know if it's locale or assignments, you and Dia, if I may, uh, yeah. uh, saw or, or, or talked with each other virtually every day didn't you yes every day um even if we didn't like we necessarily didn't work in the same car together but we talked to each other almost every day on the phone um either on the phone or we met up and uh near our sectors where they uh kind of boarded up we would sit and talk and i talked to Dia almost every i almost say every shift i talked to dia and we always just ran things past each other and Dia was one of those guys that was always trying to learn and he knew i had experience from a previous job so he would always ask me questions and run things through me. So that was kind of cool that uh, he was always that guy that was always trying to learn and just be a better person. So I, I like that about him. This officer, from everything I read, from what I heard at the funeral the other day in chatting, he, he, was, he was meant to be a cop, wasn't he? I mean, oh, it, it, was, it, was, it, seems, it seems like it was in his DNA. It was. It really was. Uh, he had the heart for this job. I mean, there was no question in my mind. Um, Dia... You know, and it was spent so much negative going on right now between the law enforcement community and Dia, like he saw the negative, but he didn't focus on the negative because when Dia came to work, he came to do his job. He didn't let those things, those negative things affect how he did his job. So he came in every day and he did his job to the best of his ability. And, and it's one thing is Dia didn't only just work for the city of Toledo, he lived in the community. So I think that was amazing. And I think that also made an impression. Was he always serious? Was he funny? I mean, we know he was outgoing. We know he loved to interact with police, especially or with the public, I should say, with definitely. the public, especially youngsters. Definitely, definitely. He was, he was always outgoing. He, was, he, he always had a smile on his face, you know. Every day I see the, uh, he had a smile on his face. He was ready to come to work, ready to do his job, and he just loved it. And I think him being at work and him being with his friends at work and 
he was like, you know, like it wasn't even like, you know, it was a job to him. It was just like more of a calling. And he loved being here. And I'm sure if you asked him, he would do it for free. Uh, he just loved this job so much. And, and, that, and that's what was amazing about it. All right. Um, we lost him last weekend and the community came together this week. Um, and Jeff McLennan was right there in the middle of it as a pallbearer for fallen Toledo police officer, Anthony Dia. I'm going to take a real quick break here. Officer, can you stay with me? Yes. We're going to continue with more right here on Leading Edge. Back on Leading Edge, I'm Jerry Anderson. He is Officer Jeff McClendon, a friend, uh, uh, a police academy classmate, a colleague in the police force, and then this week, a pallbearer for fallen Toledo police officer, Anthony Dia, who was shot and killed on duty, uh, protecting and serving in the early morning hours of July 4th. Um, we find out this week, uh, Officer, that Dia, as you call him, uh, not long ago had been weighing matters of life and even contemplating death. His written words were then read and shared with mourners at his funeral services. I, I, we sat and watched this. I, I don't know anybody how you could not be moved. How did those words affect you? I mean, it, really, it, really, it really put me at ease um, hearing um, the, uh, um, the letter that he wrote. It really put me at ease in it brought me to a better understanding of what was going on. I think that the words in this letter, you know, it like, it really did put me at ease because it told me that there's something bigger. Like, you know, like we're gonna miss our friend, we're gonna miss our coworker, we're gonna miss our brother, but there was something bigger going on that us as humans may not be able to understand. Yeah. And it really put me at ease and I'm not angry anymore about the incident that happened. Um, it really put me at ease, his letter. Um, it really, I think it put a lot of us at ease. Um, and and I know closure, you- closure. His dad, Tony, also spoke at a news conference with the police chief earlier on in the week. And you say his words also helped salve the wound, so to speak, when he said, if I have to lose my son in, in, in if Anthony has to leave us, he doesn't want to do it being sick from some illness in a bed someplace. He would, he would want to go out serving and doing yeah. what he loved to do. What did it mean for you, Jeff, to be asked to be a pallbearer? Um, it was an honor. And it's unfortunate because I thought if something happened to me, I would want Dia to be at my side and be the one that's, you know, carrying me. So it was an honor, it truly was. And just one last thing is that Dia told me he always wanted to be a field training officer. Um, and I, and I, he asked me if I was going to. And I said, I'm not sure. But he said he wanted to be a field training officer because he wanted to, when new officers started, he wanted them to feel comfortable. And he wanted to be their coach. And I thought that was amazing because even though Dia is gone, he's not going to have an opportunity to be a field training officer. His legacy that he left behind will carry on to new officers and they will be able to see the officer he was and hopefully it inspires them and transpires them to be a great officer. So even though he didn't get to be a field training officer, I think he still will be able to do that same, you know, that same thing that a field training officer, but that molding of the officer. I think his legacy will continue on and I think it will influence new officers. Wow. Have. What a powerful observation, Jeff McClendon, Officer McClendon, that even in death, Anthony Diaz dreams can and will yeah. live on through other officers. Um, you knew Dia's wife I and did, family? Amy, yes. Yeah. Amy? Yes. Yeah. In fact, can, can we share this? You, you recently had a little bit of a business transaction, didn't you, with the family or with, with Anthony? Oh, yes, I did. I just actually I just bought Dia's uh, old car from his 2006 Toyota. So uh, just a couple weeks ago, actually. Um, so that, that was awesome um, that Dia let me buy his car off him and he got, he got a new car. And he was excited about the new car and he was taking pictures and putting it on Instagram. So that was kind of cool. But um, yeah, so we, we were very close, uh, Dia and I, and um, even outside of work we were. He was just a cool person. I'm going to miss him for sure. Yeah. Uh, how are your fellow officers uh, dealing with this uh, terrible tragedy, Jeff? Um, it's a tragedy. You know, we lose someone that we're really close to. Um, you know, they say like this is a thin blue line. We're brothers and sisters. And last year I lost a, another coworker of mine in Racine, Wisconsin. So it brought, unfortunately, the funeral in itself brought back memories. But 
I think I think we'll get through it. Uh, we're we're strong. We're strong people. We're strong individuals. I think the support of the community really helped us through this grieving process. In Just fact, the that's exactly where I wanted to go as we wrap up here with Officer McClendon. I, I I shouldn't be surprised. I've said this for forty years, being around the media. This community is you give them a need, and they always rally around. What do you think it means to? Anthony Diaz family, and then to you guys as his extended family in blue, what does it mean to see the community come together like this? I, th I think it's awesome. There were so many people out there, you know, on that bridge, on the route, you know, going to the cemetery. And it just, it almost brings you to tears. I mean, it brought you to tears. Yeah. Um, them holding up signs saying, we stand with you guys and Tia, and he didn't deserve that. It was really, it was really an eye opener. And I think a lot of the new officers um, needed to see that, you know, they needed to see that you know, that people are here for them. And I think that helped, like I said, I think it helped the family, it helped the police officers through this grieving process because we get to see that, you know, Toledo as a family, you know, as this community, as a family, hey, we care. So that, that was amazing and we'll never forget it. You'll never forget it. We'll and, forget. and the timing, it seems so important at a time when police officers are, you know, really under the microscope, in some cases under the gun, and to see people come out and say, oh, no, 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 we stand with you. My sincere thanks to Toledo Police Officer Jeff McClendon for keeping us on the leading edge of dealing with the immense tragedy of losing a fellow officer and yes, a friend. Thanks for helping us salute Officer Anthony Dia today, officer.